All right, you guys, I've never done this before. I am audio recording over what I screen recorded. So you want to go to Canva. Once you get that open, you're going to go up to the Create a Design. Click on that. Then type in the words Art Portfolio. This may give you more options than what I have. So I'm just choosing the one that I've been given, but you can choose whichever one you want. I like it because it gives me a horizontal length, like a landscape design, and I just prefer that. You'll need to create a cover slide today. I know some of you are very simplistic and clean lined where some of you are more like me and you like lots of stuff. So it just kind of depends on what you want to do. If you're looking at this blank screen and not sure what to do at all, then you might want to go up to design and type in the words art. You can see I have a little trouble doing this, but I figure it out eventually. And it'll give you all kinds of creative designs that you could use as a template if you don't just want to start from scratch on your own. There were a lot to choose from. This is the one I preferred the most. I don't know why, I just like the color and the vibe of it all. There were some things that I didn't need on there because they didn't have anything to do with me, so I got rid of them. Some things are in Latin, just to kind of hold space. In that little spot, I put um, first nine weeks, which you can either type the word nine, like I did, or as I show you, you could actually put the number nine if you wanted to. I just liked the word nine better for my own personal reasons. There was a little spot up um, above the word online. Oh, I think I wanted to make that bigger. It was kind of small, so I made it bigger. I think I brought it up to almost like 28 point font. Sorry, I was struggling with the trackpad as usual. Um, there was a year option already on mine. So I could have put 2024 to 2025 to redo that, but then I decided I really didn't want 2024, 2025, but I didn't like how the 2024 looked. So I just got rid of that thing altogether, deleted it, and I put my year under my words first nine weeks. All I did was duplicate first nine weeks, then went in there and changed it to 2024. I knew that one of the criteria was to have my, um, my name on it and the word art. So I could just get rid of the word online and put Tracy's. That's my name, as you all know. Um, or I could put it before the words online, which were already there when I got it. But then it was too big and it kind of dropped it and made it look goofy. So what I did was I just changed the font size to make it a little bit smaller. I didn't like it that small, so I just kind of hit that plus button to increase it a little bit. Then of course it was on two separate spots, so I wanted it all across one straight line. And I kind of moved it around just to put it where I wanted it to look good. Then I could um, put the words art portfolio. I just had to add the word art Again, that was a criteria to have my name, the words art portfolio, the words first nine weeks, and the year 2024. And then I just decided it was kind of boring and I wanted to add some graphics to it. So I put elements, and again, I typed in the word art after I chose elements, and it just gave me all kinds of art stuff. So here I just kind of tootled around. I added an art palette, which was obviously too big, had to shrink it down move it around a little bit kind of to where I liked it. I added some art splotches, like little paint splotches, which I didn't love the color. I was struggling to find the box it was in. I had to move some stuff around. Um, so I put one up there. 
changed its size a little bit and then I went to duplicate and made a second one and just kind of slid it over. I flipped it over because I didn't want it to look exactly the same. And then I just changed their color. Remember when you click on an item and its color down there under photo colors, it'll show you kind of the other colors that are already on your design if you want to kind of coordinate them and match them up. I chose this kind of orangey red one and then I didn't like the peach one I chose so I moved it to blue. Then I decided I could go down and change some of my font colors and um, choices. So I changed this color but I thought it was kind of light for 2024. So I chose a more bold font to make it kind of stand out a little bit. And I like the font so I changed my first nine weeks font. When I made it bolder, it got a little bit too big, like it, it dropped down a line, so I stretched out the box and it brought it all back up to one line. Um, I could play and toodle and fuss around with this thing for the next five hours, but as long as you have some kind of design, if it's not perfect, we can always build on it. So get started if you have time, and we will talk about them tomorrow and start adding our art into our portfolio. Have a great day, and I shall see you tomorrow.